All right, everybody, Bob Chickum here with Nick Tregilli making his IFBB Pro debut. We're here at the Europa Games, first time ever in Atlantic City. Nick, welcome to the big dance, buddy. Thank you, appreciate it. All right, USA champ. So we got a short resume, but now short the resume. first time, obviously, on an IFBB Pro stage. Yes. Why did you choose this show to make your debut? I wasn't going to do anything for this year. I was going to keep it shut down for the whole year and give myself a rest. And wanted to do New York Pro, but it was just too close. Sure. I wanted to make improvements before I jumped on stage. So I gave myself a target. Hey, give myself 12 weeks off season before the show came up with a 12 week prep in front of me. Mm -hmm. If I can make the progress I can, then I'm going to jump on stage and do it. So I got my head in the right place. Um, took some time off after USA's. I gave myself 12 weeks, like sure. I said. I made the improvements I wanted. You know, my back and legs were my things. Obviously, it needed to be bigger always. Especially sure. stepping on a pro stage with everyone being a pro. Everyone's got great body parts now. So. Um, I brought them up tremendously, and I'm very proud of what I did with them, so I, I felt confident enough to bring them today. Well, Nick, you and I talked after your USA victory, and, you know, we kind of laid out the game plan of, you know, what, how long you thought you need, you, you know, you needed to mm -hmm. uh, get on a pro stage. You didn't need to really reinvent the wheel. Right. Uh, so I think you made the, the progress that you should have made. We saw the videos. We saw some recent pictures. Yeah. Looks like you made some good progress in the gym. Yeah. yeah. I mean, honestly, I surprised myself. <laughs> you know, I thought it was going to take a little longer to get where I needed to be. You know, obviously, I'm not where I want to be ultimately, but I made no progress where I think this show is a perfect starting point for sure. me. And, um, you know, especially with Branch in the show, Cedric in the show, uh, a couple of newcomers from overseas coming yep. to the show, it, it'll be really good to see where I stand up next to them. And it's a good judgment of character because I'd rather be in a show where there's actually people on the show, not oh, yeah. Yeah, tier yeah. three, tier <laughs> so, four, you know. Sure. So you have an idea, you can scale yourself. You know? Well, you want to test your talent. You exactly. Know? You know, and then, so it's not bad to have a few superstars in there. So there's no media bullshit right. like, oh, he didn't play anybody, right, right, anybody right. good or, you know what I'm saying. So I'd be comparing it to the best. So, well, and we have some here. So. Yeah, I was going to say, you got some names out there, uh, <laughs> you know. Now, Obviously, you got guys on different ends of the spectrum. Uh, yourself making your IFBB Pro debut. Right. You got a guy like a Branch Warren, who of course comes in as, as the highest ranking guy. Uh, you know, multi Olympian, you know, uh, multi Arnold Classic champion. Right. Um, you know, Branch has a mentality that if he doesn't win the show, he may actually not go to the Olympia. I mean, he's you know Branch. He's right. kind of got that bull mentality. 100%. Look, it's all if I ain't good enough, I ain't going I, in. I, honestly, I, I like having that mentality myself. You sure. know, I'm going to come in and not be intimidated by him. Mm -hmm. Come in and show my best and. You know, hats off to him. He's a, a veteran of the sport who sure. I hope to have accomplished things that he's accomplished. So, but again, I'm a newcomer. I got nothing to lose. I'm a dark horse. So I, I feel stress free right now. I'm happy to be here and experience this whole thing and go against the best. Well, nice thing about making your pro debut is you, you can't really lose in any respect. No, no. If you, if you take can't. dead last, they go, hey, it was, it, was your, <laughs> exactly. it was your first show, man. You know, what do you, what do you expect? Exactly. You know, if you place in the middle, they go, hey, man, your first show, you beat a few people, yeah, all right? Yeah, exactly. And if you end up in the top five, they go, hey, man, for your first show, you were in the top five. Exactly. So, unfortunately, this is the only time you get that. Exactly. Though. So you got one the one freebie. Yeah, you got the one freebie you know, right here. You criticism up to that, though. Yeah, because <laughs> after, after that, you're considered a veteran, right. so then you then you got to produce. But, Nick, you're one of the bigger guys that's going to be on that stage. Uh, you and then Henry Pierre who's actually mm -hmm. uh, done pretty well for himself yeah, a couple of times. Physique, yeah. uh, I actually know Henry from back in Florida. He had, we actually trained at the same gym here and there. Oh, wow. okay. um, so I kind of saw him kind of coming up when he was yeah. still in Canada getting his pro card. Uh, but you guys are, are two of the bigger guys out there, and, and yeah. Cedric, of course. Of course yeah. Now you got the, the big boys. Now I've always been one of those proponents that it kind of depends on who you're standing next to. Uh, and mm -hmm. you got a couple of guys there that are pretty good themselves, but you know yourself at six foot plus. Yeah. I'm going to guess you're probably in the 250 something range. 266 today. 266. Yeah. So uh, one of the bigger guys yeah. out there. Yeah. Um, give me your rundown on standing next to Cedric McMillan. I mean, my thing right now was conditioning. You know, to be at this level, I have to surpass anything I ever brought my body to sure. in the amateur level. So I wasn't worried about the weight. I didn't go near the scale. The only reason I went near the scale was to judge on my progress as sure. far as everything else. Um, my thing was conditioning. You know, I feel like I have enough size to stand next to them, muscle belly wise. But my thing is getting razor sharp. Sure. You know, I'm coming in no matter what to my best conditioning wise to this day. So Cedric's, yeah, he's big and all, but I haven't seen him really come in shape where I'm like, uh, Branch, yes, he's peeled sure. every time. Well, that's a whole different animal. It's exactly. Yeah. So you have the short, uh, small guy that's shredded, and you have the tall guy that's got great muscle bellies and great, you know, lines and, and inserts. But he's never really that crazy shape, especially last week's show. So maybe you could be the right combo of both. Right. Be the big the man with, with the conditioning. So that's why I went with the red hair. Ah, <laughs> I like that, my brother. What's What's a win for Nick Tragilli at this show? What constitutes? I mean, other than being in the winner's circle, of course. What What's a victory for you here? Top three, top two. And honestly, if I can stand up there, 
and they pulled me on the first call out, and I had Branch Moore next to me and Cedric. <laughs> that's a, that's I, pretty cool, I, I bro. Fucking one in my eyes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. I'm very optimistic with where I am, you know, and I'm humble about everything. So if, I looked up to those guys for years coming up, you know, and to see them in magazines and everything else and what they accomplished already, just to be up there next to them sharing the stage would be awesome. And um, that's a win in my eyes. And honestly, the conditioning I brought myself to at this point, the way I suffered and and to my body on another level, that alone was a huge accomplishment for me. So I'm, I'm proud where I am right now. Beautiful. All right, man. So, well, Nick, good luck thanks. on stage Pleasure. tomorrow, man. Uh, you, man. Soak it up and enjoy. Like you say, you're, you only get one time for a debut. So exactly. uh, this is a good time to be doing it here in Atlantic City at the right. Europa. So Home best state. of luck to you, Nick. We'll see you on the stage tomorrow. Keep posted, everybody, all week long. We'll have up-to-dates, of course, play-by-play -play action. Tomorrow, Sugar Sean will be in the pit calling the action. Stick right back with us. Nick, we'll talk to you after the pre-judging. Awesome. Get your thoughts on your first-ever pro pre-judging. Awesome. For Nick Tregilli, this is Bob Chick signing off.